Hi everybody, I'm Kirsten McKean from Nao Nails. In this video, I'm going to show you a cool design using rainbow colours. And we're going to do some drips. So here we are, we have a nail already made, it is a ballerina shaped nail which is bang on trend at the minute. What I'm going to do is use white on and I can go straight on top of this, this nail has no top coat on or base coat on or anything like that, I'm going to go straight on to it because it's acrylic. If this was a natural nail you would need a base coat, so you would need the Urban Graffiti base coat. I'm going to do two coats of this colour to get it really opaque. I want two thin layers. So with these colours, I've chose these gorgeous colours today. So we have 481. And we've got six or nine these may have names by now by the time you see this video you may have names so i apologize for the lack of name mentioning is that even the right word to mm -hmm. use name dropping <laughs> <laughs> sorry i haven't name dropped oh a little bit bizarre because that one like a pink flamingo. It's oh my god, it does. Oh my god. You couldn't have done that any better if you tried. Put some like dog, put some legs in it. So is this are you saying this is the head? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The beak. What? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. So we have another pivot and another tail. In my dampened dish, I've just put a little bit of gel residue wipe off solution so I can clean my brush. I'm going to start with this sort of violet colour around here. I'm going to go a, bit, a little bit lower with the drip. So I'm going to start with the drip on the end and then bring this up. See, if we were doing normal drips, we would start at the cuticle and do like a line around the cuticle, to be honest. But because we're using different colours, we don't need to do that. So we need the bulbous end of the drip. And then we're going to drag this up. So what I did, I just changed the brush because this one is a little bit longer. And because it's longer, I can do my lines of where the drips have fallen a little bit neater. So I'm going to come across. So we've got a couple of drips there. Now I'm going to clean the brush. So I'm going to go into the red. So I'll do one here. And then draw up like that. So that's a lot easier with the brush that's a little bit longer and then connect those together. You do need to be careful around the cuticle. Then I'm going to go into the pink and I'm going to come lower down and come up and I'll do a couple of those. Join them together there, so the red next to the pink. What you need to do is make sure that where the joins are, that it's round. Some people make the mistake of just doing drips down and then across, so we don't get this round section here and here. It always needs to be round, it'll look more realistic. And into the yellow. Now this is a really bright yellow, so this is actually from our neon colours. I'm 
and cure that. What I'm going to do is add a few more drips as if they've just fallen off and dripped down. So I'm going to do half a drip there. And we're going to do, I'm going to use this brush though. And we're going to do the other half red. I'm going to seal this with the Urban Graffiti top coat. Obviously, you don't have to do it with these colours. I just wanted to show you how pretty it is when we use rainbow colours. I'm going to finish this nail off with some cuticle oil. How cool is that? Now we're going to take this one step further because you know I like to just expand the designs and make them even greater than what they are, even though it's gorgeous like that. So on this nail, we're going to use exactly the same colours, but we're going to create more of a design with it. Now what I want to do first is to give me a better scale and so basically I know where I'm going is I'm going to use some white and I'm basically going to sort of map out my design with the white first. So we're going to do a heart Doing a heart, you want it symmetrical. So I'm basically just sort of sketching it out with the white. I don't want to do it with a colour, I just want it to be white so it's very faint and I can just sort of see where I'm going. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to cure it. So we're going to use the purple, we're going to do this side first. So how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five. So we need to divide this up into fifths. Then we're going to do the red. So this does take a little bit more skill, but because we've, you know, mapped it out with that white first, it's a lot easier. You know, it's quite an important step. So the centre is pink. Right, what we're going to do now is add the drips. So if you struggle to do drips, just do a little dot and drag up from it. Don't forget to make that section there where it connects to it 
slightly round so you it does look like it's drawing down from it And I'm going to seal this with the Urban Graffiti top coat. Making sure I cap the edge to make it last. I'm going to finish with some cuticle oil. So there you are, that's how to do some drips in wonderful rainbow colours. It's something that I love doing. I love drips and I started doing them a long time ago. If you look at this piece of artwork that I did, you can see oh, the drippy drips coming in the top. Don't forget to subscribe to our fantastic channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. I've got Snapchat, which I'm always posting on, so check me out. It's Kirsty Nails. All the products we've used today are in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.